to another video and in today's video we're going to be looking at how you can use our database services so the first thing we're going to show you how to do is create the database and begin to use it and the second part is how you can configure your database and connect it to any plugins that you may be using now to create a database it's actually very simple all you need to do is head to configuration followed by databases and you'll be presented with this page from there you just need to enter a name for your database so I'm going to call it tutorial and then just press create database now what this does is it creates a database with your username and password and everything that you're going to need to be able to use your database now so let's move on to PHP my admin now what PHP my admin allows you to do is create your own tables with your own columns and different things that you may be using your database to store with and it's very useful for loads of different things to see if you want to see what's in your database and just loads of different things so what you need to do is head to the url sql.skynode.pro i'll leave a link to that in the description and then you need your username and your password generated from the database so just go ahead and copy and paste those into it and again with the same with the password you need to press click to reveal the password and then you can copy and paste it into PHP my admin and then when you press go you'll be presented with this page so now you can see everything that you need to and if you press the plus button this is your current database now I'm not going to be going through how you actually use PHP my admin it's very simple and if you need it you'll probably know what you need to do with it so that's how you create a database and actually log into PHP my admin to be able to change and create new tables that you may be needing now in the second part we're going to look at how you can connect this to an actual plugin so I'm going to head and I'm going to open this in a new tab because I'm going to need these details in a minute and I'm going to go to the plugin that I've already installed this isn't just for any reason you can use any plugin this is just the one that I've decided to use today to connect to so you're going to go to the plugins config file or wherever the settings are stored for it and you're going to find where it says about storage so in this case we're talking about possible options for storage method I know that my plugin I want to be using my SQL so all I'm going to do is type my SQL in here and you're going to find the address so the address we're going to go back to the databases and we're going to copy this address here this is the address for the database and we're going to copy the uh, 3306 at the end as well you don't have to do that as you say it's the default port so you could just leave it like that and it'll automatically try that port or you can add the 3306 at the end just to be safe it's completely up to you but for now we'll just add it just for safety database now this is the name of your database as it says and this can be seen here as the one you typed in when you first created your database so you're just going to copy that in there and once you've done that then we just need the password and the username which we've just shown you how you can get and copy that into the config folder again and the same with the password and then what this is going to allow the plugin to do is actually connect to the database so now that we've done that we're just going to press save and we're going to restart the server so i'll be back once the server has restarted so now I've gone ahead and restarted the server. You can see by the LuckPerm's messages in console that it has successfully enabled using the SQL service. So this is how you use databases. Just a few extra things to note is that you can use more than one plugin on one database. It's not like it's impossible. They use their own tables, so there should be no conflictions there. Um, and if you go ahead and log into PHP and again you'll see the new tables that have generated by the plugin and that's a good way to indicate that it actually has worked. So this has been how to use databases. I hope this has helped. If you have any troubles please add them in the comments below. I'll try to respond as soon as I can. Otherwise we'll see you guys in the